Hey guys, welcome back. It is Vordy here, and once again, no cam, and I'm still in the process of uh, packing up, so I do apologize for that again. But we're gonna jump right into the news here. I was hoping that we would have anything else to cover except what already came out, which was silly of me to assume. So, here we are. More news, which is good. So, I don't wanna make it seem like I don't appreciate the news. The news is always good. Um,. Let's see, does it have it here? Perfect. So there is the news here. I took a look at it earlier today. Very, very exciting. So let's jump right in. So if you guys don't know, we are getting Final Fantasy XII uh, coming back to the game. And the reason I'm saying come back, this is technically part two. We've had some other Final Fantasy XII. Uh, King Mog, I think it was? It was a King Mog event. That's right. So if you haven't seen their video already, I think they put it in the notices here now. No, no, they didn't. They put it right here. So actually, they're putting it in the event. So this is an event for them. They have posted the video on it. If you're curious to see more in depth of what they deem to be important, and letting you know a little bit about the Final Fantasy 12 units, as well as the events and the future comings in here. And if you haven't subscribed to them, make sure you do. Uh, they do come up with a lot of good information. Uh, normally, with their schedules nowadays, they're actually coming out with the news prior to them announcing this stuff uh, in-game, which is great, and it should be like that. Prior to this, they used to kind of pop up the news in-game, and then they made a video which was redundant. Uh, we already knew about it by then, okay? So that's exactly what I did. If you haven't subscribed to them on their YouTube channel, make sure you do that. And we are going to jump right into the banner. Final Fantasy XII, the return of it is coming back. We got Balthier, Bash, Drasse, who's a girl, Vine, or Vane, and Larsa. So far, this banner looks pretty interesting. Uh, a lot of hype around the two five-star units uh, that go to six-star, which is going to be Balthier and Bash. One is a tank, one is a damage dealer. Um, how do I feel about them right now? There are other units in the game that cover their roles, so I don't think you should be too super duper hyped about them. But then again, uh, most people are more hyped about the fact that they like Final Fantasy XII and they want to have those characters to own them. So. That's a completely different type of hype. I'm going to be talking about the char characters based off of their usefulness in the current meta, uh, and that meaning like in the current state of the game, and what other units might actually be, um, you, you might be able to actually get the same role out of them in a way, all right? So obviously they are unique in their own way, and they have certain things that are cool about them, but uh, you can use other characters to kind of substitute. Especially if you're trying to save your Lapis for, a, you know, maybe a game-changing character. Which none of these guys are, in my opinion. I don't think any of them are game-changing. Um, and definitely aren't worthy of wailing, because they don't have anything on them that I would say is like, it's a must-have. I mean, Bash does have a Trust Mastery, we'll talk cover it, which is a tanking Trust Mastery, which is pretty decent. But if you have Wilhelm, or if you have... Um, Gladio and you have that, you're going to be just fine. The upgrade from that is very minimal. So here we go, looking at the four, <clears throat> sorry, five characters, two five stars, two four stars, and one three star. Okay, the first guy here is going to be the one of the first five stars, which is the tank. So this is Bash. He is going to be the job of a captain. So <laughs> he's a tank, as you can see here. Uh, they've marked him as a tank, uh, decent hit points, attack and defense is actually really nice, the spirit is really nice for a tank, so overall his stats for tanking, very good, uh, decent spirit, uh, sorry, decent MP as well, which is perfect, he's the 5 star going to 6 star, looking at his trust mastery, which is the one I mentioned, being a tank trust mastery, it is defense 60, spirit 70, and then lightning resistance by 50%, and will also enable a move called decoy pose. Decoy pose is a chance of evading physical attacks, he makes a bunch of decoys of himself, and the monsters don't know which one is the real one, so they have a chance of evading the attack, which is really cool. I like it. it looks like a giant heart. So, or more like a scale. Um, so his trust master is actually pretty decent. However, there are other ones that are similar. Uh, obviously, none of them have that much spirit in them, uh, and the defense is variable based on that. But yes. You know, as far as spirit and then the lightning resistance, it's it's actually a pretty decent trust mastery. Um, can you live without it? Absolutely. Uh, but if you do get it, it's well worth farming. Looking at some of his abilities here, they got Dawn Guard, chance of taking physical damage for all allies. It's got inescapable disaster damage and reduced spirit for one enemy. Undying Fighter, add a chance of restoring own MP when receiving magic attack. Uh, this is the same thing that uh, Rayjack has. Rayjack? Rayjack. The one that just came out, he's got the same thing. When he gets hit, he'll heal people and recover MP. Uh, 
The one thing that they don't have here, and which is really the important thing about Bash, Bash has the ability to cover either magic attacks or physical attacks. He doesn't cover uh, both. However, they do last for three turns, which means you could literally just keep rotating them, plus you have a spare turn to do whatever you want. And you can cover magic and physical attack if you are going to be taking both, so he could be taking both of them for you. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think here, actually. I'm not 100% sure if you really want to, ever want to do that. Because of one or the other, if you would... Yeah, it's up to you, really. You can. So there is an option, though some people are saying you can only do one. Actually, you can do both, because it's a, it lasts for three turns. So you have Dawn card, which is physical, and I think... I can't remember the name of the other one. It all same thing, but does magical damage. Overall, if you do get the unit, you should be pretty happy about it, but it's not worth wailing for because you can get similar covers from different units in game. Obviously, you'll have two different units that cover two different things rather than having one unit like Bash that will cover both of them. So you kind of have to be more strategic about your party because if you bring Bash, then now you have one free slot to bring maybe a damage dealer or a support unit or, or, or whatever. So, you know, obviously having him will help you build a better party. But that doesn't mean you can't, you know, substitute him for someone else. So... You can survive. You will survive. Looking at the next five star going to six star, it's Balthier. He's a Sky Pirate. Sky Pirate, all right. 4,300 hit points, not bad. Very good attack, and that's boosted because he has a, um, what do you call it? Passive that increases his damage based on, or his attack based off of the fact that he's using a gun. Uh, and then when he becomes a seven star, he gets a lot of other crazy things too. But anyways, uh, just looking at the, uh, the five, six star base here. So there he is. Looks pretty badass. His trust mastery is called Arcturus. Uh, attack 135. This is actually a really nice gun. Again, no element, no nothing on it. It's pretty good. I, again, I've never been a big fan of guns right now. It's because the units that use them are normally suffering. <laughs> However, Balthier has the option to wear other weapons. And the one weapon that he has is, is pretty interesting. He can actually wear katanas as well. As most of you know, you can get katana mastery, which will boost your damage by 50%. Plus, he already has innate uh, gun mastery, which will increase his attack by 50%. So, having those two, you can get his damage pretty high. And um, it all depends on his abilities, which we'll cover here real quick, uh, on how much damage you can do. So, what he is really interested, uh, is really decent at, is that he can actually imperil, imperil an element and then increase his damage on that. So if he, let's say, imperils fire, he will increase his damage and he will actually do fire damage for the next five turns. And then he'll do fire So he's gonna make himself do more damage. It's actually good as well because you can bring a whole new type of game style in. So if you know you're gonna be doing, you know, fire damage, you bring him, he'll imperil, imperil the fire. As well, he'll boost his attack from, you know, whatever. It used to be called Entrust in different games uh, where he will, like, cast an ability like like a red mage can tra cast and trust earth or and trust thunder and then he enhances his weapon and then now he does lightning or earth damage or whatever so he does similar things like that he imbues his weapon with that element um, so he can actually control that for you so right here you got some global upgrades which these were apparently his enhancements uh, from what I'm hearing and some of them got a little bit of a tweak when he became a seven star but we are getting those here on global right away which is making him more of uh, a unit you might want to get. However, um, again, I still don't see it yet, so we'll, let's take a look at his abilities. The first, first one's called Elemental Shot Fire. Deal partially uh, partial and mitigated damage and reduce fire resistance for one enemy and add fire elemental or well, element physical to uh, attack. What the hell? Add fire element to physical attack for self. Bordy's killing it! He's killing it. So, Obviously, he does the same thing for water and lightning. Uh, the unmitigated damage is 50%, unless they change that and put it, because now it's enhanced, it might be back down to 25%, uh, which is fine. It's still a decent hit, but he does the same thing for all of them. And then he's got another one here called Killer Shot. Deal partially unmitigated damage to one enemy, enable finishing blow for one turn. Finishing blow, I think, is the move that actually hits really hard. Um, I think it's like, a, oh no, actually, no, I'm confusing it with a seven star ability. Um, speaking of 7 star abilities, when he does get his 7 star abilities, he will have this really crazy hitting attack that's like a thousand percent uh, weapon damage and it, has a, it does like more of like a chance. He's got a 1 to 6 times the multiplier of a thousand uh, damage. Unless I read that wrong, I was looking at it the other day. It looks insane. Uh, it is a 7 star ability and you can use it once every 4 turns. So. It kind of makes sense for it being that powerful, but uh, when he does get his 7 star, he does get 
a, a, a little bit more intense and his trust or his super trust mastery is like a just a you know a tmr which is interesting but yeah so overall he's also a decent character if you do get him you're gonna have an interesting use form especially if you have units that are chaining lightning or water or fire you can imperil them and then have those units take advantage of that so it's not bad so looking at the judge judge magister uh drasi she is a girl and people don't know that but she's a girl you can tell by her armor if you're still confused definitely a girl I would say that she is more of like a support and um, debuffer, so that's kind of what they have her here as a mage, well her magic is as a mage, but anyways, uh, 3900 life, not bad for a 4 star going to 6 star, attack is weak, defense is okay, MP is really good and, and magic is higher, uh, but uh, really her magic is really low for being, uh, as they would probably say, it's, she's like a, like a mage which is not really the, the case looking at the trust mastery here for drassi it's death trap attack 80 magic 100 and mp 10 percent a really nice short sword uh, i i like it right off the bat i can tell you this is something you can put on uh units like for via definitely awesome i absolutely like it it is kind of like a more versatile item uh, for units that have hybrid attacks, okay, because they, they give them the, the MP because most hybrid units have very costly spells So that little 10% might give you a little bit of a boost looking at the spells here. Nothing as a global enhancement She does get uh, flame fant Fire damage to all enemies. She gets rapier, which is partially mitigated magic damage to one enemy uh, Revolt a deal partially mitigated damage to all enemies and cure poison blind sleep Silence, paralysis, confusion, disease, and stone for all allies. Absolutely really cool. So she does damage to all the enemies and she heals your whole party. She's got a few other abilities on there that are kind of like that. Where she does something to the enemy and then return, she will do uh, some good stuff for your party. Which I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, what was his other name? Zargabath. I absolutely love Zargabath. I wish I got him. He's one of my one of those units that I secretly love. Uh, he's got really cool abilities, and he has some abilities that are similar to this. Uh, they, I believe, that Zargabath is also a Judge Magister. Um, but yeah, it's man, very, very, very cool. I absolutely love this character. Of all these units, uh, while I'm pulling for them, if I get myself um, one of her and one of the next unit, I'll be very happy. I'm not really pushing too hard for any of these guys. Knowing my luck, I'm I've always had luck with getting tanks. I've never had any luck with getting healers. So I. I almost have a feeling that I'm going to get my hands on uh, Bash, which you know what, I'm not going to be sad about it in any way, shape or form. I'm still going to be happy if I get any rainbow, but um, I'm actually aiming for, for her and Vayne. So that's pretty much what she's, she's not that bad. Uh, looking at the next one here is going to be Vayne or Vin, or whatever you guys want to pronounce them. I'm just going to say he looks absolutely badass. He's got little balls of uh, not a little ball, a little lightning off of him. He's glowing yellow. He's got a pose of just awesomeness. Like, who doesn't care about that? He looks so good. So he's a four star, going to six star. His job is council. Hit points are decent. Attack is okay. Defense is meh. MP is pretty decent, and magic is a little bit high, which is kind of weird, but for a guy of his stature, he's got here saying that he's a tank. Unfortunately, he's not a tank. He's more of a monk. But I would also say that he's like a you know, fisting support. <laughs> he will support you with his fists. Uh, looking at his trust mastery, attack 15, magic 15%, hit points 28%. We've had stuff like this before. Uh, it's not bad. I would just feed him, feed him into himself till you get it. It's not worth farming. Looking at some of his abilities here, he does have one of my absolute favorite abilities in the game, which is going to be anything that does sort of like mitigation of armor or mitigation of damage, because it allows you to fight bosses that are a lot harder uh, than maybe you are geared for defense defensively by having a unit that can reduce your damage for like 20% or 30%. So he's got a move called Force Barrier, reduce physical damage taken for two turns and boost defense uh, reduction resistance for one ally and enable a move called Divine Sword one time for self. His Divine Sword also does like some crazy damage and can also heal himself with another move that you use for magical damage. So Divine Sword is critical light damage and reduce light resistance for one enemy. Love it. As you have Force Barrier, the other move that they don't show here, there's another one that is a magic one. It's the same thing uh, that it says reduce physical damage. This one would be reduce magical damage taken by same thing, 20% I believe, or 30% for two turns, and then boost, I think it's Spirit, uh, by 70% or 
if I remember correctly, 70% and it, it will, uh, uh, what do you call it, give him a different move, and I can't remember what the move is called, but it's like a healing style move, whereas Divine Sword is a physical, or a damaging move. Uh, very, very, very interesting. Like I said, for myself, I want him, and I want her, and I'm, I'm gonna max him out to 6 star, because I have potential uses for them as we get more and more 10-man raids. These guys just have very interesting abilities that I think could be useful in uh, in those raids, and I think you guys should consider having them and at least leveling them up. Um, again, I'm not saying wail out on this banner. If you get them, you're, you're going to be pretty happy because these guys have abilities that are that you can utilize, right? And his last ability is called Exceptional Tactics. Boost damage and spirit for all allies and gradually restore hit points. I think it's 40% attack defense, or sorry, defense spirit, and then you will get, I think it's 200 hit points with a 4 times multiplier for recovering hit, uh, hit points over 3 turns or something like that. It's not bad, it's not really that good anyways either, but I mean, if you're gonna use them because you brought him as, as like a support or like a person to keep your party, uh, you know, with mitigated damage, then you know what, if you pop it, you pop it, right? It's all good. Looking at the last unit, and unfortunately the doo-doo of this unit, so the big fishes have already been spoken about. The doo-doo of this banner is uh, is Larsa. She is what's her face's uh, sister, Balthier. Is it Balthier? Balthier? Bosch? 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 Sister? I think. I can't remember. It's been so long. Three star going to five star. She fails right there. The second you hear that, it's it's. It's not gonna happen. Her stats are literally representing where she's limited to as a three-star unit. She's not going anywhere higher. Her stats are really limited by that. But she does have decent MP, which is probably her best thing. She is a support unit. Trust Mastery is called Imperial Talent. She's an Imperial Prince. Lars? Imperial Prince? Lars? I thought it was a girl. Lars is a brother. Eh, whatever. Bash, younger brother or younger sister. Whatever. I confused. Yeah, this is a girl. That is questionable. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Boy or girl? I can't remember. I think he is a boy. Larsa. No, it's a girl. Imperial Prince. Anyways, that's throwing me off. She's a girl. I'm gonna call her a girl. Larsa is a girl. Imperial Talent, boost hit points by 5%, spirit by 20%, and restore hit point every turn. Not bad. Hospitality, enables special abilities for 3 turns. X Potion of Hospitality, restore hit points for all allies. Wholehearted Service, use a random ability to all allies. So, overall, I looked at the abilities on this unit. I'm not really super excited about them. Even the Trust Mastery, I'm not, I don't really care. Uh, this unit, it, in my opinion, is doo-doo. I'm sure that later on, as meta changes and um, Barca gets uh, the enhancements that they deserve, they will actually get a little bit better, but overall right now, not worth uh, not worth your pulls or anything. It, but I mean, you can't choose anyways. You're pulling for these other guys, and you will get what you get. So it's not bad. Overall, the banner, like I said, it, it's got decent units. You have to pull on it because you're trying to get units for the trust, or sorry, the King Mog event. And it's just not worth wailing on if this was, a, or even pulling on, in my opinion, if it wasn't a King Mog event. Okay, uh, looking at the event that is coming along uh, with this, it's called Yensa Sadesia. Yensa Sentencia. So it's an event here, it's a King Mog event. Uh, starts on Friday and ends on a Thursday in February. Not bad. Obviously the rewards here are, are everything we've seen so far. First time you clear a beginner, you'll get a ticket. And then after that, you're just gonna get the currency. And then if you, when you beat it on uh, Elite, you get 500 Lapis. And then they've finally introduced the Super Elite version, like they had in JP, but they're calling it LGD, which is LEGENDARY! LEGEND! Pro Elite LEGEND! This one is gonna cost you 40 energy, and then you're gonna be able to jump in there and get your ass whooped by those monsters, because they probably hit a lot harder. And, if I remember correctly, the bosses, you have two bosses at the end, or is it three? I think you fight two or three people at the end, and they're just annoying. Ugh. Collect and exchange uh, Urutan flowers for items. Uh, those uh, exchange the items by talking to the Kingmog. You'll get four star guaranteed ticket, Spirit Fighter, uh, Spirit Magician. So you get some decent trust masteries there. Looking at some event exclusive items, I would consider these a must haves, and you should probably pick them up as soon as possible because they are good. Judge Magister Cloak. Defense 35, hit points 10%. Absolutely great right away right from then. Then activate Vortex of Judgment when equipped by Zargabath, Bash, or Drass. Or Drass. So all these guys get this <laughs> this uh, enhancement off this really cool Clake. Uh, Clake. Clake. Clake Assault. 
If you wear Clake Exult as a cape, you will get the boost of all Clakes. Because Clake is like a like an accessory you carry around yourself. Because he's so good. I don't even know where the hell that came from. But anyways, power to Clake for being awesome. He could be an item that people would just... I don't know, get boosted stats. Nine, 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 nine to everything. Okay, focus, 40. Focus. Judge Magister's Cloak. So it's actually really nice. I would uh, pick that up right away because it is nice. The activation of Vortex of Judgment increases the chance of being targeted and boost fill rate of burst stones. Really nice to have on Bash for sure. I don't know about Psychopath, but Psychopath can kind of tank if you use his uh, defensive abilities. Uh, the next one here is called Bass Uniform. Defense 32, Spirit 18, and nullifies Confusion. A uh, little note here, you can exchange for items such as 4-star tickets and 5-star trust mogos. We already knew that, knew that. So looking at the bonus units, the bomb is here is called a pineapple. And then you got uh, Eurotan Yensa, which looks like an old lady, but uh, those are the bonus units. Get lots of flowers for killing these guys, sounds good. So these are the bonus units, unfortunately, even though the item that you get here is for Zargabath, you should have given Zargabath into this banner so people could have used them as well uh, to get the bonus. I would think would be the best thing. You would have, uh, you know, Belthier, Bash, and Zargabath in here giving you 100%, but unfortunately they didn't. So these are the units and those are the percentages. 100% for the five stars, 75% for the four stars, and 50% for the three star. All right, so that's it. That's the event. Get ready for some farming. Um, yeah, again, my final thoughts on it. I'm not going to pull hard on this banner. I'm literally just going to pull enough to get the farming units. I'm hoping that within my dailies and my tickets that I have, which is only like maybe like a couple, uh, that I get at least a few of them to make the farming um, possible so I can get at least those items. I'm not going to even use this event to farm for... Uh, for the crisps because I don't think it's gonna be worth the like the trouble for it uh, again it's not a banner that's gonna be worth that um I know a lot of you are gonna have some comments in the comment section below but please let me know how you feel about it let me know why you want to pull hard for Balthier why do you want to pull hard for Bash what is so good about them that the units that we already don't have they don't cover like I mean I think William here is pretty good as a tank I mean he's okay I mean he's only got like 10,500 life, and he's not even wearing that good of gear. I mean, you can get him to like 13,000, 14,000 with the right gear right now. I think he's pretty good for a tank. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I am very curious what you guys think, uh, as well as, is Larsa a boy or girl? You let me know. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for sticking around. I am almost done fully packing. Literally the only thing that's not packed yet or disabled is my laptop and my internet. I've really, I've packed my TV and everything already back in its original box. My house is spotless right now. It's just a bunch of boxes and we are just about ready to get moving. I should be getting my keys within the next couple of days. Uh, I did get like a five day delay or something, so I was supposed to have gotten them already, so I think I'm getting them on Monday. When I get my keys on Monday, I'm literally going to try and move right away because I have everything packed up and just go, 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 go. And that's why I push so far, uh, so so early to get everything packed up because the hardest part is packing up. Easy part's moving, and then the next hard part is unpacking. But once I get to my new house, I'm just literally unpacking my computer and stuff like that. And then I will unpack over the next couple of months but I will still be able to make those videos I've been waiting to do. I can't wait to stream. It's going to be so much fun. And on top of that, with the last thing, let me know if you guys are excited about the stream and would you guys be coming and joining me a couple of days a week. And if there is a preferred time or date, let me know. Or date. Preferred time and preferred weekday that you guys would like to come join me for streaming, let me know. We'll play Final Fantasy games and other games as well as uh, whatever else is cool at the time, we'll play. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. This is Vordy. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Bye. See ya. Peace.